BTEC Applied Science Unit 5. So this is if you're doing diploma. Unit 5 and the first part of the physics C1, which is thermal physics C1. And this is the first video in this series and it's about work and power. So uh, there's many types of energy. Um, energy is measured in joules. There's heat energy, thermal energy. There's chemical potential energy, elastic potential energy, gravitational potential energy. Potential means stored, stored energy. Then there's kinetic energy, there's electrical energy, lots of different types of energy. Uh, and energy can change from one type to another and that's called an energy transfer. And here are some examples of energy transfer. It's very GCSE, this electrical energy going to heat, chemical potential energy going to heat, etc. These are energy transfers when energy changes from one type to another. Uh, here's a, a couple of examples just to look at a bit more closely. Uh, if you dive off a diving board. Now, before you hit the water, it's gravitational potential energy goes to kinetic energy. Now, uh, mg delta h is an equation you should know from GCSE, uh, and I have seen it on a past paper for the BTEC, even though it's not on the, the data sheet, so you should be familiar with it. mgh for gravitational potential energy, or rather mg delta h. Uh, then a half mv squared for kinetic energy. If you ski down a slope at a constant speed, then you're not gaining kinetic energy, and it's just gravitational potential energy goes to work against friction. And I'm going to talk a lot about that later in this video. So MGH goes to F times delta X. So energy is the ability to do work. I mean, lots of different types of energy. What is energy? Energy is the ability to do work. So what is work? Now, in physics, uh, work has a very, very definite meaning which you need to know. What is work? Well, work is done when the point of application of a force moves. So this person here is pushing this box and the box is moving. That person is doing work. So simply work is done when a force moves. If the box wasn't moving, the person wouldn't be doing work. Okay, work is done when the point of application of a force moves. Uh, work is done whenever energy is transferred. Whenever there's an energy transfer, um, work is being done and work is measured in joules. You can think of work as a type of energy. It's measured in joules, but strictly speaking, it isn't. It's an energy transfer is what work is. Uh, how do we work out work? Well, I mentioned this equation a bit earlier on. Work equals force times distance. Again, from GCSE, work in joules equals force in newtons times distance in meters, or F equals W equals F times delta X. Delta means the change in, the difference. So W equals F times delta X. The distance, by the way, has to be in the direction of the force. So it's work equals force times the distance moved in the direction of the force. Here's an example. A man pushes a car with a force of 300 newtons for 20 meters. How much work does he do? And I'll show you the answer now. So in the exam, you write down the equation W equals F times delta X. You bung in the numbers equals 300 times 20. Be careful with any prefixes like killer or mega or milli or micro. In this case, it's just 300 times 20. 
uh, equals 6,000 joules or 6 kilojoules. Here's another couple of examples that you can have a go at. Uh, uh, pause the video, have a go at them. I'll show you the answers in three, two, one. There's the first one, work equals force times distance, delta x. So 1,200 times 2.4 is 2.88 kilojoules. And the second one, W equals F times delta x. Uh, so 800 times 10,000, because it's kilometers, which is 8 million joules or 8 mega joules. Power. Power is the rate of energy transfer. The rate of, that means divided by time. It means how much of it happens every second divided by time. So power is the rate at which work is done. Uh, in other words, it's the amount of work done every second. Okay, power equals work done divided by time. We could measure it in joules per second, but it has its own units. Power is measured in watts. So again, here's an example. Uh, the engine of this car does 135 mega joules of work in 30 minutes. Calculate its power. And the answer is. So power equals work over time. So 135 times 10 to the 6, mega is 10 to the 6, a million, divided by 30 times 60, because the time has to be in seconds, and you should get 75 kilowatts, 75 times 10 to the 3 watts. Uh, here's another um, example for you to do. Um, the electric motor for a lift uh, lifts a weight of 15,000 newtons, a height of 12 meters in 20 seconds. How much work does it do? Uh, calculate its useful power. Uh, and also, uh, if the input power is 20 kilowatts, calculate the efficiency. Well, so for the work done, work equals F times delta X. So 15,000 times 12, which is 180,000. Uh, and then the useful power, power is work over time. So 180,000 divided by 20, because it's 20 seconds, is nine kilowatts. Uh, and then this equation for efficiency, again, from GCSE. Remember, efficiency is useful divided by total either useful work divided by total work or useful power divided by total power. And in this case, nine over 20, which is 0 0.45 or 45%. One last word about power. You should know these by now, if you're up to unit five, there's 60 watts. This bulb has a power of 60 watts. Uh, a car engine is typically about 75 kilowatts. This wind turbine uh, generates three megawatts, three million watts. Uh, this power station uh, generates 2.4 gigawatts. Giga is times 10 to the nine, which is a thousand million or a billion. 2.4 times 10 to the 9. So you need to know kilo, mega, giga. You should know them by now.